What's up guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to buy and sell options on the mobile thinkorswim platform but before i even show you guys that you need to make sure you have already enabled options trading on your platform and this goes for e-trade webull you know Robinhood, whatever platform you use you will have to um, apply for options trading and i use the word apply because that's the word they use but pretty much they're going to ask you the same series of questions no matter what platform you go to they need some information from you and once you answer those questions they will then grant you access to trade options but without that you will only be able to buy uh, shares you will only be able to buy and sell shares so you need to make sure you enable options trading on your platform you can do that by either going to the website like tdameritrade.com or you could you know on some platforms you can just do it on your phone it's really quick really easy pretty straightforward and after that you'll be good to go now that we're good with that let's go ahead and move on and let me show you guys how to buy and sell options on the thinkorswim platform so as you can see we are on the main page for thinkorswim mobile you know you scroll up and down you have your just information about your account you know account balance positions and all that good stuff you have your watch list you have your uh, well the space where you will see positions once you buy and at the bottom in the very center you see the word trade that's what we're gonna click and next we're gonna click you know just type in the stock we want to trade so let's say we want to trade let's say coin why not we're gonna do coin coin pops up we're gonna click it wait for it to load up and as you can see we see you know the options chain now this part is very similar to Webull uh, e-trade you know and, and other platforms they they relatively look the same i would say robin hood is the outlier um that has a different layout but in terms of layout and choosing your contracts thinkorswim e-trade weevil they all look like this very similar now what you're going to do is you're going to first you're going to evaluate which you know which option you want to buy which which contract do you want to buy if you don't see what you like to see what you can do is click strikes in the very middle right above uh, the center of uh, the settings icon and what you can do is click all strikes and when you do that you can see all the strikes for calls and puts on either side right you go all the way down it goes all the way down to the cheapest contract which is the which is the $400 call and you scroll back up you can see all the in the money contracts as well so from in the money to out the money all of them and obviously if you don't need to see that many you could dial it down to however many one you want like there's 25 there's 10 all that good stuff now if you haven't noticed yet you have the calls on the left you have the puts on the right the one the the contracts that are shaded in as you can see on the left side from 182.5 to 172.5 and on the right side 185 to 195 those are the in the money contracts for calls on the left and then puts on the right and the, obviously the non-shaded areas are the out the money contracts now to change your expiration date what you want to do is just simply click it so let's say you want to you don't want to see the february 4th 2022 expiration dates you click that and then you click the one you want let's say we want to try the february 18th we'll just click february 18th and then we'll see all the strike price uh the the contracts and strike prices for that expiration date right so let's say we want to let's just stick with february 4th so we'll click that and we want to buy a call option well what we're going to do first is evaluate our budget all that kind of good stuff you guys have seen the last videos about how to choose a contract but to be able to see uh the the details of the contract what you want to do is just slide to the left right so say you want to see the volume and, and the the open interest and the the greeks what you'll do is let's say okay i want to look at the the details of the 185 strike I'm just going to look at the 185 and I'm just going to I'm just going to swipe to the right. Right? I see the delta 0.43, the gamma, I see the open interest, the theta, the volume, all that good stuff. So I'm able to see what I, you know, see just the information about the contract. And like I said, it's the exact same thing for Webull, it's the exact same thing for E-Trade. Um, all you have to do is swipe to the uh, left or right. And even for and you can see on the put option side as well, it's also sliding over over there as well so you can see the details for all the contracts right so let's say i like the 185 call what i'll do is just click click the 185 and as you can see it brings me to another page and sometimes what will happen is you may click the bid price and it'll pop up and say sell make sure if you're buying call options or or put options you always want to make sure it's on buy right you're going to put it on buy your quantity you're going to choose 
you know, how many contracts you want, you know, 100, 1,000, 1, 5, whatever it is, right? We'll leave it at 10 for now. Obviously, you can see the bid price and the ask price right under where it says limit. You see it's 3.3 and 3.7. Now, if you don't know what limit and market or what a limit order is, it's pretty much when you choose a price to pay between the bid and ask. A market order will just buy the contract right at, at the ask price. But if the bid and ask is really far apart, what you want to do is, you know, usually try to find somewhere in the middle, right? Where you can buy this contract and all the settings are good. You want it to say day. Um, you want it to say day GTC is good till canceled and you don't want to put it on GTC because that means you'll just be in the play until you cancel it or the order will be pending until you decide to cancel it or it gets filled. But I'm just going to leave it on day. Everything else looks good. I'm going to press review. And then I'm going to press paper trade, or if you're actually using a platform, it's going to say send on the top, right? But right now it says paper trade. I'm going to click paper trade. And as you can see, it says order was sent right now at the top left. It said order was working. As you can see, it filled already. If I click filled, you can see that the play was filled. Obviously if the order was canceled. You'll see it here. And then I can just see all my orders right there. Now to see the order, I'm going to click position. And then as you can see, I can see my coin play. If I click this, just click the play itself. I'll see the drop down of the actual details of the play. I can see that it's the February 4th, $18 call. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Let's say, you know, you're just ready to sell the play. What you're going to do is you're going to click it and then you're going to press close selected. After you press close selected, obviously you want it to say sell. It's going to say, okay, I'm going to sell all my contracts. I, I bought 20 total, so I'm going to sell them. And, you know, obviously you go through the limit order and market order, whichever one you want to do right now, it says 3.1 and 3.2. So it's not that much of a difference. So just to get a good fill and a quick exit, I'm going to put it on market review paper trade. And as you can see, it's working, it's working. And then now it's filled. And as you can see, it's no longer here. It's no longer moving. You can see it says zero under the details of the play. Now, before we move on or before we end this video, I want to show you one more situation where your order doesn't get filled. What can you do to change that or, or fix that problem? Now, let's say we go back on trade this time. Let's go on all, uh, American Airlines. Why not? Right. We go on American Airlines or actually let me go on a company that usually has a wide bid and ask price. Let's go on Tesla. We go on Tesla, right? Let's say we want calls. We click calls and then you can see the bid and ass is atrocious, right? The, the bid price is 11, $11 and 75 cents. The ass price is $14 and five cents. And if you don't know what I mean by, you know, bid price, ass price and all that good limit orders, market orders, definitely go and check out my, uh, one of my previous videos on how to choose a good contract. And I'm going to talk about, I'm going to really, you know, go into detail about what kind of contract you want. And I'll be going over those definitions and stuff as well. Now let's see. So like I said, we have a really wide bid and ask price. Let's say you want to buy. And then what you do is you have a limit order, but you don't want to play. You don't want to pay 13.6. So you're going to try to, you're going to try to buy at the bid, right? So I'm going to press review paper trade. Now I'm already going to let you know this order is not going to get filled because the bid and ask is really far apart. There's no way the seller on the other end of this trade is going to accept 1175 when he can potentially accept 13.8, right? There's no way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to cancel this order and replace it. Meaning that I'm going to have to just change the price. I am actually trying to buy at. how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to press it, right? I click the play. I'm going to actually click cancel slash replace order. And that brings me back to the similar screen. So what happens is I can actually change the price and it will cancel my last order and then make this one my new order. So let's try to meet somewhere in the middle, right in the middle, but closer to the ask price because I want my order to get filled and let's try again. Order was sent. Let's see. All right. My last order was canceled and this one's still working. Doesn't look like this one wants to get filled either. So I'm going to do it again. Go a little closer paper trade orders working orders working 
Let's see if we can get filled here. Right. And while you're waiting to get filled, you got to understand that the price is moving as well. So, you know, if I go back and the price is more expensive, then clearly I didn't meet in the middle anymore. So I may have to keep going back and adjusting my prices. Looks like they're pretty they're going to be really, really strict with this fill here. Um, and in a real world, I'm not I'm not grabbing a contract like this because the bid and ass is way too far. I'm not comfortable paying more money for this contract right this is just for the secular example so let's say okay we gotta go a little closer uh right now we're, we're trying to get filled at 1455 and you can see the prices went up again and the bid price is still relatively low but let's see if i can inch a little closer at 1490. all right let's see if we can get filled here Still can't get filled, and I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not on the charts right now, okay? So I can't tell whether Tesla's going up in price, making it harder for me to get filled or not. But you get the idea. You know, you don't want to have to deal with this every single time. That's why if the bid and ask price is already this far apart, I don't even trade it. But for the sake of it, I'm just going to try to buy at the bid or at the at the ask price to see if I can get filled now. And as you can see, I got filled almost immediately, and I am in the play, right? And now, if I want to sell this play. It's going to hurt a lot because what I would need is for Tesla to go up in share price so my contracts can go up in value. And then I will be able to cover the difference between the bid and the ask that I originally had. Because if I sell right now, even if I'm two, three hundred dollars in profit, you know, it's not going to work in my I'm still going to end the play red because I originally got in at a bad uh, at a bad price. Right now, as you can see, the trade's not going my way anyway. This is the paper trading account, so relax. I'm not just throwing away money, but I want to close selected. Um, if I want to get out to play fast, I'll just do a market order. But that would mean I would have to sell at 12.55 when I bought it at 15.15. So obviously, there's no, you know, I can't win here unless you know the price is just just shoots up. So I'm gonna try to let's try to get filled somewhere in the middle, middle ish. It's working, and as you can see, it accepted my order um, for a $150 loss, which is way less than I expected it to be. But that's not the point. The point is, I wanted you guys to know how to buy and sell, and it's very similar. Like I said on Webull on eTrade, uh, they're they're very two similar platforms in terms of how to get uh, how to buy and sell. Now, I hope that made sense to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, do like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, if I helped you guys out. And if you have any other requests, because this was a requested video, make sure you leave them down below in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video.